Hey, Tommy, can you believe it? This is the 2025 Chevy Tahoe. And in this video, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to show you everything around this vehicle, talk about the big news surrounding the engines, talk about the big news on the interior, and show you everything you need to know about this new 2025 Tahoe. It's crazy, Dad. We're talking about 2025. We're not even done with 2023. I know. Yeah, it's crazy. But we are here, thanks to our friends at Chevy, previewing uh, the latest and greatest uh, Tahoe. So let's start, as always, with design. What have they done to it? Well, you've got a new front end on the Tahoe, and this one we're looking at is a Z71 package, which gives you a higher clearance front end, and it really is a good-looking, attractive vehicle. Specifically, the night the lights are very new. So we've got a new running light turn signal, as well as a new main beam, which is kind of contrasted against the current one, a little bit more elegant, a little bit more modern. Now, this Z71 also has this egg crate-style grille with the bright red logoing, and of course, Dad, my favorite part, the bright red tow hooks, because of course the tow hook doesn't work unless it's bright red. And by the way, all of you who are looking over there at the Suburban, we're gonna have a full video on that over at All TFL. Uh, so uh, be sure to check that out. So do you like the black bow tie, Tommy? I do, yeah, and yeah. I really like this kind of shadow chrome that they have surrounding the bow tie. And then as we make our way around the side, we've got nine new wheel options in the Tahoe and Suburban. This one is a Z71, so we've got an all-terrain tire and a 20-inch wheel. Yeah, these are Goodyear uh, Wrangler and they're uh, 275 60R20s, and I love those wheels. They're really good-looking wheels. Now, the Z71, of course, is the off-road version, uh, and we've taken this off-road in the current generation, and it's done really well. Yeah, it's a really impressive vehicle for what it is, which is a large three-row SUV. We've got black trim along the window accents, and then some big changes on the rear. So one of the things that they did is they actually flipped the orientation of the taillight. So it used to be the long portion up top, the short down low, now it's reversed, and we've got this black applique, which continues along the width of the vehicle, which kind of makes it look a little bit more burly. And of course, they spell out Tahoe on the tailgate. Yeah, as is kind of the trend right now. And you know what? I'm not a huge fan of piano black on the inside of the car, but I don't mind it on the outside of the car. Uh, it does really make it look a little bit more, uh, shall we say, classy. Now, lots of nice exterior changes. You'll see exterior changes across the board from the LS all the way up through the high country. A few different front end designs. As we mentioned, this is the off-road Z71. But let's talk about the big news for the Z71, which has to do with the engines. Yeah, so uh, we'll look under here. And as you know, um, there are two engine choices in the current model. Um, Three. And, well, third one now in this one. one. Yeah, that's a good point, Dad. So in the current model, you had both the 5.3 V8 the 6.2 V8 and the 3 liter diesel, but in the current Z71, you couldn't option the diesel. Well, Chevrolet has been listening and now you can get the new generation 3 liter inline six diesel in the Z71 off-road package. Yeah, and Chevy says 10% uh, more horsepower. Yeah, so it's gone from 277 to 305. Torque has gone from 460 to 495, so almost 500 pound feet. And, you know, I asked them, why couldn't you get the diesel in the old one? Well, with the front end design, specifically with the skid plate and the cooling requirements, like the intercooler, they, had a, they couldn't get it to package properly. Well, in this facelift, they've redone the front end of the Z71 to allow clearance for the intercooler and the, the, the radiators to allow you to, to spec it. Now, this one, of course, is a V8. It's, yeah, it's not the uh, diesel. No. But yeah. you have still get the same 5.3, 355 horsepower, 6'2", 420 horsepower, those are unchanged. But what's not unchanged, some of the changes on the inside. Yeah, let's go look on the inside and uh, see what you guys think. What they've done is kind of changed the layout of the dashboard. So they've uh, kind of redesigned much of the interior here uh, to make it a little bit uh, more, well, lower basically, so you have a better view out the front. Yeah, it's about an inch lower, a little bit sunken down, so you get a great view. Now, this is the big news on the inside, Dad. This is a 17.7 inch screen, which is standard across the board on the Tahoe. And what's cool is it's not just a normal square rectangle, it actually contours to the edge of the binnacle. This is an impressive screen, and it's standard across the board. Yeah, uh, you know, what makes me happier is not the screen, is the fact that they've kept traditional 
uh, HVAC controls so that you don't have to necessarily go into a screen to find those. And they've kept the volume knob. Woohoo! Yeah, so. I, I like the little volume uh, speaker that's in there. That's it, pretty cool. In an era of buttons and weird screen things for volume controls, we still have the traditional. And now we also have an all new steering wheel in this vehicle, as well as an all new standard digital instrument cluster there. So, Lots of improvements. This is an 11 inch display, which is a little smaller than the 12 inch on the outgoing one, but it's a little bit narrower so you get a better view out the front. Really a nice interior improvement, I think, that. And then we also have the new gear selector, which is just like the Silverado EV. It's a pull up and a down to select the gears versus the buttons. And then over here on the left side of the steering wheel, we have four wheel drive controls, auto, two high, four high, and four low. This vehicle does have the height adjustable air suspension, and we've got all of our camera control, standard 360 degree camera in the Tahoe. Lots of really good improvements in here. Now, speaking of cameras, you'll see that they've added, I think there's one right there. They've added a whole bunch of cameras which are now enabled with the app. So, for instance, if you leave something in the car, on your app, you, you can, can go check it out. Yeah, or if, for example, you get in an accident or someone ha breaks into your car, you'll have recordings of that as well. Thirty seconds between when the incident happens. Now Tesla has been doing that for a while. Yes, but it's they nice, sure have. It's nice to see that uh, Chevy is now caught up. This is also new right here. Uh, this uh, really impressive uh, uh, kind of ledge of. I don't know if that's real wood. It looks like it's real. Hard it feels to tell. Nice, it yeah. feels nice, but that also gives it a sense of width. Wireless charger there we do have USB A and USB C and the best part dad we also have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay yeah if you guys know uh, GM has said that they're getting rid of it in their electric vehicles but since this one isn't electric well you don't have to worry about it and I don't know if we mentioned this Tommy but it's a 10 speed uh, on all the three powertrains uh, right, what'd so you say, Dad? I couldn't hear you. 10-speed automatic on all powertrains. That's right. Now, this is why you buy a Tahoe or Suburban, which is for family hauling duty. And let's see how it feels. Now, the first thing I noticed, which is a big improvement, is the seats have gotten a lot squishier. Yeah, they were kind of bench-like in the past. Yeah, a lot a lot more kind of <laughs> lazy boy-like. It's just squishy. I love it. Is, is that the Tommy uh, seat test? It is. It's really squishy. Okay, good. Um, and, of course, we have the bench in this model, which even the middle seat, Plenty of room, three zone automatic climate control back here, USB C ports back here, a great rear seat. Should we check out the third row? Yeah, why don't you check out the third row? This, okay, is, we, this is the job of the young members of the staff, Tommy. We got the, IEU. the fold and tumble, first of all. You can fold it completely flat. And then let me fold up this third row. Get some nice folding action there. Kind of a high lift over to. Hop in there. It is a tall vehicle, Tommy. It is the off-road one, so you yeah. get a little more ground clearance. And you can get the, ta the Tahoe in both two and four-wheel drive. Z71 is only available in four-wheel drive. Once again, a good third row. Lots of space. This does fold or slide forward and backward. You got vents back here for third row uh, passengers, and there's yeah. new sensors. In Not a lot of room here, though. Well, I mean, I could slide it. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to. Yeah, it'd have to. Um, we also have new radar sensors in the C-pillars which look for minute breathing and heartbeats from animals that may have been left behind. Or humans. Or humans, or it'll honk the horn to let you know you left somebody, and then ultimately it will alert you on an app to let you know, hey, someone's left behind here. All right, how much is this tow, Tommy? People use these to tow. So if I remember right, uh, 8,400 pounds is max towing on the Tahoe, which is substantial. Yep, there is a max towing package available. Let's see how the seats fold. Pull the lever here. Oh, didn't do that right. There, there we you, go. There you go. You're kind of just stuck with those. Those have to go. Yeah, you could slide it forward, get the flats. Now, when we talk about the Suburban, those will all be powered. So if you want to go a little bit more fancier, you don't have to do it. Yeah, manually. and this is a Z71. Another big change, by the way, too, speaking of trims, is you can now get Super Cruise, the hands off, sorry, the hands off, eyes on driver assistance technology on the highway in not only the top trim premiere in high country, Super Cruise is coming to LT and RST. Okay. Right. Um, it will now be an option. So yeah, Dad, I think a lot of good improvements, specifically for the folks that wanted to go off-road with the diesel. You now have the new generation of diesel engine, you now get more power, and you can now get it in the Z71. Some nice technology improvements, like standard adaptive cruise control across the board. Of course, that standard 17.7 inch screen. So really did a nice job with this 2025. It's not like a you know all new platform but it's a good improvement yeah i mean it's been around for what four years now ish um four and, years yeah. yeah and we're looking at uh end of 2024 
when these things actually hit the dealership. So we're, you know, at least a year out. And we don't know pricing. The current one starts in like the mid 50s, but goes up quickly from there. So I'm expecting this to be mid to high 60s starting. And the competitors, Expedition, Armada, uh, maybe Sequoia. Yeah, right. All those big family hauling SUVs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like I say, I actually do really love those wheels. I'm not a big wheel guy, but those are really, really good. And if you guys are interested in learning more about that, that's a high country suburban, uh, head on over to All TFL, where we've got another video over on the truck channel uh, talking about that. Uh, so Tommy, uh, you like the color? I love it, yeah. I think it, this is the one to go for with the diesel engine. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. This has been Tommy. And Roman saying check out alltfl.com and we will see you over at TFL Truck.